Nobody's got a date and time stamp on their foot. Nobody does. I lost my wife, Debbie, to breast cancer in 2010 after a 19 and a half year struggle battling the disease. And when we got the diagnosis, everybody was devastated at the time. And we knew, we knew in 2008 that this cancer would take her. We knew it. We didn't know when, but we knew it. And the question is, how are we gonna do this? No matter what you do, you feel that anxiety coming on. And Debbie dealt with anxiety, not through medication, but through prayer and belief in the God that, that we believe in. Prayer changed her in many ways. And so many people at times look and say, well, you automatically go to God for this, go to God for that. Well, guess what? It became her sanctuary. It was her way of dealing with the actuality of what was happening. It was her one-to-one -one communication with God, but it was also her way to get things off of her heart and express her feelings. And that made all the difference for her. It made all the difference for me because I knew that she wasn't afraid and was not anxious and was ready to take on whatever we had to take on. So we all learned from that. We all learned that there is power in, in using prayer as your advocate to God. We look back now in the rearview mirror of our life and I can see that hand directing us. And it's a beautiful thing. My advice to others coping with cancer, with themselves or with a loved one, is A, never lose your faith. Use those prayers to help you with this journey. And you know what? Journeys aren't easy. Journeys are tough. But life is that way. This chapter is still going. And the final one's not written yet. And it keeps me praying every morning. It's all in how you look at it and the attitude that you take for it.